Hey folks, that fix a guy here. And you might be wondering why I'm standing in a shower stall with a closet auger. All right, people are gonna say I might be crazy for this one, but when it comes to clearing a pee trap in a shower, I personally like to use a closet auger. And I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So come along, let's get to fixing. So my friend says that when he takes a shower, he notices that a shower drain starts filling up. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop this cover off. Be careful, these screws are small. You do not wanna lose them. You don't wanna drop them down the drain. It will be a bummer. Be very careful and just pull that out. And I'm gonna tell you right away, I'm gonna guarantee there's a hair issue. Like there is hair on that screw. So let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh, what? Okay, I don't even need to pull out my auger this time. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab my big screwdriver and we're just gonna pry this out right here and I bet it's gonna be good to rock and roll. Okay, so it turned out, it turned out I couldn't find my big screwdriver. I don't really wanna use my six in one on it, but I found this pair of chopsticks. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna rock this out, dude. You get to see my sweet chopstick skills. Oh my gosh. That is funky. Dude, I don't even know how that gets to be so funky. Look at that. Dim sum. Oh my gosh. What is that? Like, that is just some crusty, crusty, I guess just crusty hair. I don't know, man. Like, really, the consistency of this is crazy. Yeah, look at that, dude. Holy whack a mole, dude. I gotta get it way down in there. I don't even know if these aren't gonna be long enough. Dude. All right, we, we might be putting that auger down here anyway, just cause we're gonna see what else we pull back. But man, we are doing pretty good. Like let's zoom out a little bit, look at that. That is uh. Yeah, dude, that's funky, man. Okay, well, that's about as far as my chopsticks reach. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Holy macaroni, dude. That is quite... Phew, wait. <laughs> I would say that's probably what it is. All right. So, I'm going to think that this is going to run like a boss after that's out of there. Oh man, yeah, we're still going to go ahead and I'm still going to put the closet auger down it, but look at that. That is just gnarly, dude. Wow. Okay, so look, I cleared this with the chopsticks, but I'm still going to put the auger down there because I want to make sure that everything is out of there. I mean, if there's that much hair sitting in the riser, then man. So one of the main reasons why I use an auger is because it's a half inch cable. You know, it usually has a big retriever head bulb on it. 
that I'm about to show you. And it's flexible and it's three foot long. Okay, so that three foot long comes in handy because really a trap from the top of here to the weir of the trap is supposed to be two foot. So we're actually going and gonna end up going a little bit past the trap and then we're gonna pull a bunch of stuff back with that retriever head. Okay, so see this right here? That's the retriever head on the auger. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna set that down in there. I'm gonna come up here and I'm just gonna take this auger and I'm gonna get that to right there. And then, so let's just see if we can flip over to here. And you just wanna take this and start turning clockwise. And that went down very smooth. See, it goes down very easy. So the toilet auger is actually made to go down the throat of a toilet, which is two inch, maybe a little bit bigger, right? This auger right here happens to be a rigid K6. This is an awesome extendable one. So it'll go the three feet. Then you could actually pull this out a little bit. You could push this button right here, extend it out another three foot, and get a six foot total to get down in there. And it's made to really clear toilets, but it just works really well for this as well. And I guess chopsticks do too. So now we don't wanna spin this backwards cause we don't wanna take anything off our retriever head. And then I just like to take this, give it a pull, get it up in there and we'll see what else we end up pulling out of here. Nothing. Wow. Okay. Well, if anything, we know that it's clear now. Okay, so we've got most of that out of there. I just want to see, there's a little bit more down in here that I don't know why. I don't know. So I don't actually know why that's still stuck to the edges like that. Man, yeah, that just, that's funky, dude. It's like sand. And then the other thing I wanna do is I like to just feel, I wanna know why that's like that. And honestly, there's no burrs on the pipe. There's no none of that. I just like to check that, right? Cause if there's some burrs, then I was gonna clean it off and just make that a little bit better, but there's not. It's really weird, just whatever they're putting down the drain is really like super hard and like scaly. <laughs> it kind of actually seems like maybe some calcium from some urine, man. I don't know. Like, I don't know what you put down the shower drain that gets this hard. I mean, that's like straight up brittle. You can hear it. You can see it flaking off. I don't know what that is. That, any plumbers out there, anybody, have you seen some scale like that coming out of a shower? Like, that's just weird to me. I Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen that. Unless it's like really, really, really dry shampoo or something. So then, we're just gonna take this, put this back in place, tighten those down, and we're good to rock and roll. This particular shower has two shower heads. We'll get that rolling pretty good. He said that it wouldn't take all that water at one time, but you can see now, taking out like a bob. So, I mean, we really did just pull a squirrel out of it. Of course, it's gonna drain like that. So in service plumbing or home ownership, you're going to have to improvise sometimes, right? Like the very first time I used the toilet auger on the shower drain, 
it worked out very well. In this case, I didn't actually have to use it, man. I ended up making some shower ramen and using some chopsticks, right? I didn't have my big screwdriver. I needed something to get that hair out of there and I could see it, right? It was in my grasp. Found these bad puppies and made it rain. Awesome. Plus you guys got to see my sweet chop shop skills. All right. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you could please subscribe to the channel, click the like button. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so very much. And we'll see you again real soon.